In this video, we are continuing to work through the Pico CTF 2022 Capture the Flag Challenge. In the last video, it was a super simple challenge, just literally running a file. So we took a couple minutes and actually built out some scripts that make our lives easier when we're solving challenges. It'll finish the file name and the folder that we're working in to say, hey, we completed this challenge and we are done with it. And we also wrote a super simple script to save the blast command that we might have ran to actually get the flag. That helps us keep track of our solution. That helps us keep track of the flag. It's all good stuff. And if you haven't seen that video or checked out the code, really recommend you go do that. But now let's dive into the next challenge that we're taking a look at at Pico CTF 2022. So I am over here on my computer screen over in the Kali Linux virtual machine that I'm working in with a directory for CTF Pico uh, in the folder that I use here. And now let's move into this next reverse engineering category. Maybe we're actually going to do some reverse engineering for this one. <laughs> and it says, look, Okay, another program, but this time it seems to want some input. What happens if you try and run it on the command line with the input, hello, with an exclamation point? You can download the program here. Goodness gracious, this better not be another silly, just literally run the file. Uh, let's do it. Okay, so I probably should have made a directory for file run two and moved this new run binary into file run two. Uh, so let's hop into that directory. And of course, we'll mark this file as executable so we can run it. Uh, something that we've chatted about in all the previous videos. And we could run this run binary. It says run this file with only one argument. Okay, so we could run with, as it said, hello exclamation point. Uh, that's it. <laughs> There's our flag. Now, let me add a disclaimer. You might run into a hiccup here. If you're running in bash or some other terminal and it kind of whines at you like, hey, I don't know what this exclamation point thing is, you might have to wrap it in quotes. You might not even have to wrap it in double quotes. You probably have to wrap it in single quotes. That tells the shell, hey, your command line, hey, this is actually a literal string that I want to supply here. It might get tripped up on the exclamation point. In which case, you just run it with the single quotes following it, and you get, again, your flag here. Should I even upload this video, everybody? <laughs> Maybe we should move on to another challenge. How about that? Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> this video is what, two minutes long? We're gonna do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one. I love you, bye. <laughs> Wait a second, before we go, let's actually make use of the cool new commands that we just wrote in that previous video. Uh, so we know, oh, we just ran, hey, here's how we can get the flag. Let's carve it out and get only the flag with that grep trick that I told you earlier. We could get the flag format, Pico CTF with the curly braces and a regular expressions to dot, star, everything, and that will retrieve the output for us. Let's set color equal to none, so we don't see that there, and let's, save that as our solution. Now we have a get flag script that we can see all the time. We can cat that flag, we can see that all the time. And let's finish this to denote, hey, we have now completed that challenge just as well. Okay, now it's the end of the video. I'm serious, goodbye everyone, get out. See you later. <laughs>